The next song is Too Big For Your Boots, live and in the flesh. Hello, my name is Eddie, my pronouns are they, them, and I'm the front person of Millie Milner and the Dead Names. And I'm Mitch, my pronouns are he, him, and I'm one of two guitarists. Two or three or four. We have the beautiful Shannon Gebby on the drums. We've got TJ Down on guitar and little Murphy Murphinson. <laughs> Murphy Murphy on the bass. Hello! We are nearly the only dead names. We could not say we're a queer band, but we'd still be a queer band. No. Every time we went up on stage, despite TJ being straight <laughs> and sits, we would be a queer band because teacher. every song that I've written for the band has so much of my queerness tied into it. Mm. And every performance and every conversation and us going out into the industry, we're always going to be queer. And kids yeah. need to see more people yeah. like us. I never saw enough people like me as a kid, and I know for a fact there isn't enough people on the mainstream media now like us. One or two is not enough. Dead Names songs are, on the surface level, about my experience. They're about my coming out journey, my experiences with partners, with friends, family. But I think that they go deeper than that in the way that they sum up how it feels to experience the world as a queer individual, as a non-binary individual. They look at it the way I do, as someone who doesn't quite have a place in society and doesn't quite know themselves yet. I'm still figuring it out and my songs have come on that journey with me. And I think that when you listen to the early ones compared to now, I know I can hear that I sound a lot more sure of myself. identify as non-binary for a long time because I felt like I had to push myself into one box or the other. I've been out in some way as some non-cis label for such a long time that mm. I think it grew with me as I got older I got better at it. I think most of my doubts growing up didn't necessarily come from myself but from people around me and the way that society um, talks about and treats trans people. I think we're just drawn to each other as a community because <laughs> as soon as I one person starts out. coming out, everyone starts coming out and you realise you're all in it together, I guess. <laughs> Before it building into band, it was a solo act which I'd done for on and off since I was about 14, 15. Although the project's changed, it's always been gigging and writing. Yeah, I think for me, before the band, I was in college, I was in a college band. I don't know, because my childhood's always been like music centred, I guess.
because I was replacing members that had left when we met. It was literally that I'd, I'd done a performance for our uni for the first years that were about to come in and I'd said that we were looking for a couple of new guitarists and TJ and Mitch had applied for it. And then we ended up looking for a new drummer as well and I reached out to Shannon, I'd had some good recommendations. Yeah. And then Murphy was a friend of a friend. So somehow it's all chance that we yeah. like each other this much. We've just got so lucky that everyone's personalities fit so well. For me, it's a release. I don't think I could go without being in the band. I get really aggy if we've not done a gig yeah. in a while. I just, I need to be up there with my friends. But also, if I wasn't doing something to make people like us more seen or make people no, not talk about us more, feel like I'd feel like I wasn't doing it. Like, I'm, I feel like I need to talk about it and talking about it is the whole problem. We don't know where we'll get with it. We don't know how big we'll get. We don't know if we'll be staying at the same venues when we're 40 still talking about the same stuff. Yeah. But if we've had conversations along the way and we've talked about it with people and we've been seeing we've done enough. It's nice to have people turning up to gigs. It's better when the room's full, like they're part of it and we're part of it and we can never replicate any of our gigs. We go up and we play the same songs on a lot of the gigs. Sometimes we play the exact same set list but a gig's never the same twice mm -hmm. and that's made up by the people that are there Yeah. and the environment that you're in. I think my favourite thing is when like um, you play into people who've maybe never heard of us before and like you get like maybe one or two people in the crowd who like have like a little spark of recognition in their eyes or like a look of like queer people yeah <laughs> and I'm, like it's just really cute like it's really nice to see we're gay but you don't yeah. have to be we're gay but you don't have to be you know <laughs> i think that would defeat the objects of what we do really yeah yeah we're inclusive if you resonate with a song in some way, whether you're queer or not, if you resonate with it, listen to it. There's, put your own story into it. There's always something new coming because we're always doing something new. We're always trying to keep releasing music. We're always together, like there's, so it's always churning. There's always more to come back for. There's always more to hear. We've been working really hard recently on kind of polishing a lot of things up and it's exciting to, we're starting to get ready to roll some of that out now, mm. which is good. So there's only more to see, more to do. Yeah. Is there but one of our plans are super top secret, so we can't actually tell you. Actually.